And by the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. And by the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. Hey guys, welcome to Addressing the Comments. This week, we have some good ones. So I want to make sure that you um, are seeing the um, the comments and your voices are heard. Now keep in mind, everyone's voice doesn't get heard on this channel because if you come through with the with the foolishness, you know that those comments typically don't fly. But for the most part, you know, I, I'll take good and bad comments, but they just need to be respectful. But that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and get right into this because I want to try to keep this um, as, you know, under 30 minutes, but, you know, not skipping, you know, some of the comments that really give you an opportunity to express yourselves out here. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to have um, some comments rolling to the side because sometimes I don't think you guys can see everything. So let me know down in the comments. Is this a good format? Do you like this? Because you guys know what I look like, so you don't really need to see me. Um, so the, the comments, of course, are the star of the show, but I also want you to know what videos these comments come from or what posts. So that's kind of important. Okay. Um, so the first comment we're going to talk about, I just looked at my comments and, um, someone named that girl T who does come to my live chat came through and um left a video link sometimes i don't look at video links guys i'm just going to be honest because sometimes i don't know what they are are they spam you know what is it or leading me to a video that i just don't even want to see but i recognized her name she does come to the chat and i didn't think that she would send me something that i didn't need to see or wouldn't want to see so i went ahead and clicked on it and guys, I would encourage you, if you have a minute, go ahead, check out. Um, she posted under, um, I posted that I did a tutorial on my other channel. She went ahead and posted up under it. And you know what, guys, this is one thing. I admire someone who's got ambition and who at least is um, trying to get themselves out here. So that girl T went ahead and commented um, thank you for the video. She's starting a channel. Um, I guess she's got two, you know, I'm not sure if she has two channels or what. I'm assuming this is all the same channel, but one says 294 subscribers. The other one says seven. So whatever the case is, she has a smaller channel and she's, she's working. She is grinding. She is creating video. She invited me to a video. I went and took a look at it. She talked about five YouTubers that she is watching that inspire her to create content. And one of them was me. So, um, and I liked what she had to say. So, um, go ahead, check her out guys. I, I really like her and I did share her channel on my community, um, on my community post. So go ahead, check her out. Um, that girl T. All right. Um, next is, um, Katria Young. Katria is funny. Um, I, I liked what she had to say. She commented under weak Wi-Fi Chrissy, big announcement. She said, this damn intro be having me dead. And she's talking about my intro with our wonderful friend, Wacky Jackie, who, you know, put some respect on my name recently, letting me know that she really appreciates me as a reactor. And you know what, Jackie, thank you. I appreciate um, that you, um, you know, put the hater hat down for a minute and went ahead, came through um, with the honest and sincere feedback because, you know, um, yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so next comment we have is um, from Camelia Sweden. Uh, no tracks, no GPS, uh, 
bullshit. She lied too much. So Camelia is talking about Chrissy with her pods, lost my stuff, update, Wi-Fi, um, why try live Wi-Fi? These titles I come up with sometimes. I'm just like, girl, these these titles. Okay, but anyway, um, you know, we got to we got to get everything in there. But anyway, um, so yeah, it it was weird. Um, Chrissy's video, you know, Chrissy basically, you know, Chrissy shoots herself in the foot, and I'm gonna tell you why. Chrissy, um came out with the clickbait on this one. We all know that guys at the end of the day, this was clickbait. Um, if you put your pod in transit, as she said, right. And nobody knows where it is until it gets where it needs to be. Like, do you need to know if it's going to take 14 days on the fifth day, you've already been in your house for six months. So on the fifth day, after six months, of your stuff being in storage, basically, because I'm this is what I'm imagining. You had probably to pay off your debt to your landlord. So after you paid your debt, then you needed to pay these storage bills and the transit to get to Houston. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know everything, but I would imagine that whatever was put in place for you to be able to obtain some of your personal belongings that you were not able to take in that first five minutes or hour or whatever leading up to the eviction, whatever was put in storage, I would imagine you probably had to pay some sort of um, restitution to your landlord, whatever the, the rent was that you owed previously and whatever fees I imagined. I could be wrong. It doesn't even matter at this point. Um, but the streets are talking and people are just kind of like, you're full of shit. So that's, that's that. Right. Um, next one, weak Wi-Fi, Chrissy, Shonda P. I don't have the patience to watch weak Wi-Fi, Chrissy, her interruptions, all the interruptions from the Wi-Fi and the kids, the lies, the lack of interesting content. It's too much yet. Yeah, maybe it's just too little, right? Shonda. I mean, at the end, maybe that's what it is. It's just, it's too much in, and not, and not enough, right? Doing the most and and getting the least is what, what I love to say. Um, so yeah, um, guys, I'm having to like on both sides. So you'll see, um, if you see not a heart on one and a heart on another, just understand I'm looking at two different things at the same time. I got my phone going and um, my computer. So our crazy life says this, um, she said, oops. Okay, so this is a long one, guys. Um, so let me just put a heart on here because I know she had a lot to say and I'm going to try to read as much of it as I possibly can. Um, she says, it doesn't matter whose business it is that you get your stuff or what. Really, Chrissy, she lied and told one story and they, the pod company, was getting harassed day and night, I'm sure, and being told off over and over. And so, yeah, why the hell wouldn't they not put the ish out there? So to, to her point, to our crazy life's point, people like Chrissy has to understand she might not see the impact, but I know she knows the impact. You are a mother of nine children who is single alone, was abandoned by your husband just right there, you have a lot of people rooting for you. So you put this story out that a huge company like Pods lost all of your belongings. That's what it said in the thumbnail. Yes, people are calling to see what they can do to help you. You don't know who is who out here from a mom to a mom who is a CFO to a mom who is just like heart bleeding because someone who she watches and rocks with lost all her stuff to someone who may have contributed a cash app or purchased a bed for you. I don't know. But at the end of the day, Chrissy, like seriously, you don't get this. Um, she lied. So I'm back into the, the post. She lied. She put her, their business down and said that she lost her pod then was being lazy and not answering the phone calls or returning calls. So they're trying to call you to figure out what kind of internet 
drama do we have going on here? What is going on? They're trying to call you. You knew you told a lie. That's why you're not picking up the phone. I'm sure she wanted new furniture and she was seeing what her viewers and testing the waters to see what her subscribers and viewers were going to do. The people that brought this woman and the kids, all of these beds and furniture and pots and pans and so on and on and on deserve to know. So that's who matters. I mean, Chrissy, look at the end of the day, there is no such thing as a free lunch, right? Someone buys you something, they want to follow up. Did you like the food? Was it good? Are you satisfied? Whatever the case might be. These people are giving you money. They are buying furniture. They're like, um, okay, maybe she doesn't have time to follow up, but I do. I have time. So I'm going to call the company. I mean, Chrissy, come on. Yes, Pod shouldn't have given out your information. But again, this is a large company. You have a large following. I don't know what the shit storm was that you stirred up on Twitter. But at the end of the day, understand that you have an impact. Guys, I'm going to tell you a quick story. I watched Raven Elise. Raven Elise received a mirror that she purchased. The mirror was broken. She contacted customer service. She was having a hard time. She didn't ask her fans to do anything, but her fans, her, I think almost 2 million, I'm not sure how many people reached out to this company, but they reached out. They said, Hey, this person that I follow ordered a mirror from you. She's redecorating her home or she's decorating her first home. And you guys have not been in touch. Well, about a week later, the social media director is in touch with her. They are replacing the mirror. You know, even Raven said, it's a shame that the people wouldn't get in touch with me when they didn't know I had a platform. And I appreciate you guys reaching out. You didn't have to do that. But everything got replaced. Everything was taken care of. Now, she's got a platform 10 times the size as Chrissy. So maybe the 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 gravity of the follow-up was 10 times greater. I don't know. But at the end of the day, Chrissy, make no mistake, you have a following of people who are looking out for you. And to be so naive to think that like that wasn't going to happen on top of what you said, the people that don't like you and the ones that you say have it out for you. Look, these people are following up on what you put out. And that's it. So let me try to finish up this letter really quick. So that's who matters, Chrissy. You selfish little itch. <laughs> this woman needs to learn that she is always going to need someplace to live and her kid with her and her kids. You know, Chrissy, a roof over those kids' head. Now, many times has she moved over the course of a year? How many times has she moved over the course of the year? I know a girl who lost custody of her little girl to the dad because she moved so many times in a year. She would uproot her kids every time they would get settled in a place. She would lose her job and get evicted. She is lucky that she is finding these big, beautiful homes and how she is doing it and getting is beyond me. I don't understand how she can continually get evicted and then turn around and rent another gorgeous home. So um, again, to your point, our crazy life, she talked about this in a video. She's renting directly from homeowners who are renting out their properties, probably not through a property management company, probably not through a leasing company. She's renting directly. So if you own a home, you decide to move on, buy another home, but don't sell your initial home and you want to rent it out. This seems to be who she's renting from. She's renting from people who may or may not be doing credit checks, background checks, things of that nature. So they are going based on kind of like a gentleman's or gentlewoman's agreement, uh, probably with a lease, of course. So maybe they are doing legal documents, but she's not going through all of the checks and balances that would normally happen for um, a corporately owned um, entity who is managing a property, right? So that's how that's happening. I'm not sure what type of financial statement she's providing. She's mentioned some times before that she is some sort of a contractor for YouTube. Make no mistake that 
creators are not contractors. We are not employees. We are 1099. This is at will relationship. So not even in terms of employment, this is contributorship, right? So you're part of a YouTube partnership program. We are business partners. We share in the advertising dollars or we get a share of the advertising dollars that YouTube um, uh, obtains from Procter and Gamble, from Bounty, from Tide, from Lincoln Mercury, from whatever, right? So she, I don't know what she's telling these people, but it seems to be that Chrissy, you know, I don't know what she says, and I'm not going to even make up that I know what she says. But anyway, yes, Chrissy does have a lot of luck. She had to be put, she had to be putting S-H-I-T um, on her kids' names. Okay, so, you know, Chrissy did put a video out on her cooking channel saying how, you know, how did I get my last place? And she did allude in that title that there was some potential um, identity theft. She said that she used her kid's name. Now, in the video, did she say that? No. In the title, did it say that? Yes, that is a crime. So I, I don't know what she did. And, you know, at the end of the day, girl, watch your back because, you know, using that type of information could really hurt you in the long run. Um, but, you know, I don't know that that's what she actually did, but that's what it said in the title of one of her videos. So great comment. Um, and uh, hopefully I did it justice. But anyway, I answered back. I said, how about not tell the story? Um, how about, you know, so this is what I'm proposing that Chrissy could have said, how about not tell the story? We salvage as much as we could and we are okay. I'll let you see the house when I'm ready. 20 seconds. Um, I say she and Jasmine tell entirely too much and, and tell too much of what they blame people for talking about, have a topic, stick to it run off and run offline and film some produced content to post because it's like when she goes live, I mean, girl, you have your whole entire house open to the public. So, you know, again, great, great post. And I appreciate you sending that through. So um, another from our crazy life, why lie? Why fi? Why try? We're all seeing the pattern here. Um, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, weak Wi-Fi, Chrissy, big announcement, Miss Brown. What I don't understand is for a woman who has multiple streams of income, she finally got the pod. Where are the people's lashes? No Wi-Fi, Chrissy. Um, good question, Miss Brown. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really been following that story because I never... Um, purchased any of her lashes. So I really don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I do know that I saw on Instagram with the help of one of my contributors um, who did track down someone who did purchase some lashes. And I will share that um, in another post. So not in this addressing the comments, but I do have some information from one of my contributors who did see where someone posted something about having received Chrissy's lashes. And I will post that in a, in a quick short video. So um, I know that the lashes have been received. Now, I don't know if these are the pre-orders. I can't tell you that, but somewhat of kind of like a first impression um, uh, follow-up. So I will post that in another video. So um, thank you for asking about that. And I, I will, um, I will post that. So Kiki Monroe, LOL. That's what I'm, LOL. That's what I'm saying, Fran. LOL. Who wouldn't have decent Wi-Fi or upgrade their phone? I mean, yeah. I mean, that's just exactly like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there with that Wi-Fi, but it's crazy. Um, Kaitel. Um, let's see. I don't even. So Kaitel is saying she doesn't believe that there is anything in that pod. Basically, the size of the pod looks like something for a full-size bed, um, that white bed that looked small AF. And what we all see, she didn't have shit in the house in Vegas. It was empty. I bet the pod ain't got shit in it or it's her mom's stuff. 
she's the biggest liar ever, not even a good liar. Well, gosh, tell us how you really feel, Kai. But yeah, I mean, hey, it. you look, I'm not even disputing that. So um, SV, I don't think it's the phone. It's the phone carrier and who controls the tower where she is. If she has T-Mobile and is in an area with Verizon or AT&T towers, she's out of luck. Also, does she have regular Comcast? I mean, look, that's what I'm saying too, SV. Great point. This is the deal. Um, you might have horrible phone service on cellular, but why are you not hooked to your Wi-Fi? But then again, her Wi-Fi might be bad. So it looks like she goes live a lot from her phone rather than from her laptop. But she's always saying she's having computer problems. Like, I don't know what the deal is. If you are making the bulk of your money through your computer, through your internet, why are you not investing in a larger, more robust Wi-Fi? You've got nine kids. You've got at least, I'm sure, five that have to be on the computer at all times during the course of the day. Why do you not have better internet? Comcast, um, I've got Time Warner Cable, at and I mean, my goodness. Um or so no, it's not even Time Warner anymore. It's Spectrum, right? So um, so also, does she have regular Comcast or Comcast prepaid? Prepaid customers get less speed, um, which would explain the constant buffering. I'm not sure what Texas offers. The prepaid rule applies for cable and phones. I used to be a cell phone store manager and we sold cable services as well. Maybe she's using a hotspot. Either way, she needs a new provider. I mean, my gosh, girl, you make your money online. So yeah, um, you know, and I'll say this guys, with the pandemic, from what I'm understanding, my husband told me the other day um, is that, and I don't know if this is North Carolina or federal, but what's going on is because of all of the remote learning, I think part of the stimulus is going to include a certain amount of money for Wi-Fi and for the parents who are facilitating at home. So I don't know how much it is. It's, I think it's nominal, but it's something to say thank you to the families that are helping and also just the bumping up of Wi-Fi plans or maybe not even having had Wi-Fi. So um, okay. So, Hey, Latoy, how are you? Um, guys, these little, um, uh, badges here. Um, if you are not a member of this channel, you can do that for, I believe as little as $4.99. Um, also, um, Latoy is a top commenter. These are things that YouTube does to let me know who is in my comments. So I know Latoy definitely is a member for sure. Um, she is also a top commenter and she publicly subscribes to my channel now for over nine months. So Latoy, thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, Estralita, hey girl, um, weak Wi-Fi, Chrissy. Yeah, girl, like we already know. Trina Reynolds, um, Chrissy, nobody gives a F, so go ahead on with your burnt biscuits and unrelatable Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I mean, who doesn't have good Wi-Fi these days, guys, or at least a decent cell phone plan? Um, Ocean Blue, LOL, she just makes up stuff as she goes. She needs better Wi-Fi. I mean, that's one of the consensus out here, guys. Chrissy, what are you doing? Um, Gwen, hey girl, Anna, vlogging every day to keep the evictions away. And you, girl, you said it right there. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, and Erica is down here laughing. Um, I think you guys can see that. Girl, yes, there you go. Um, Black Dolly, weak Wi Fi Chrissy, happy Labor Day, sis. Happy Labor Day, sis, to you. I hope everyone out here had a wonderful Labor Day. I know some of you guys were working. I got a package on yesterday. I appreciate all of our essential workers. You guys are keeping it moving. You guys are keeping, um, you guys are keeping it real out here for all of us who are stuck at home. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, to all of you guys out here who are doing your thing to, you know, keep us, I mean, getting our packages, 
um, the stores open, getting gas, things like that. You guys are awesome. Um, Debo Debo, maybe she, maybe she did this to get cash apps. Why else would she drag this out? She's still a hot mess. I don't care. I mean, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we've seen that. So it's, it's quite potentially a possibility. So Whitney Miller, girl, I'm cracking up over the why try. How is she going to be going live if she can't even get her damn Wi-Fi in order? So Chrissy's big announcement was, is that she's doing somewhat of like a Vita again. So Vita in September. So vlog every day in September. My question was this, you're vlogging every day, but are you posting? Guys, check me if I'm wrong. Just check me. Who's going to check me, boo? Um, Chrissy has been saying she's been posted. She's been vlogging and filming like crazy, but she had to edit so she could post stuff. Now she's saying she's going to vlog every day and get stuff posted. Girl, which one is it? Um, it sounds like to me that you should have a ton of content. You should have like damn near a major motion picture, uh, especially with all the drama that you have going on in, in your life and all of the vlogging that you said you've been doing. You said you just needed to edit and post. So we're going to let you stick with this video. We go stick with the video right now and react to the video. And the video is, was the big announcement was that you were going to vlog every single day. And on the days that you couldn't vlog, vlog and put up a video that you would go live. So that's in reference to um, the going live aspect that if she doesn't put up a video, she will go live for 30 minutes to an hour. And we just know that her Wi-Fi has gotten absolutely horrendous. If I mean, to me, I would think she's having PTSD when she um, goes live because I would be nervous. Um, like, is this going to be the time that this stuff is not going to work again? So she says, um, Whitney goes on to say, Jazzy needs to be worried about her damn CPS case and getting her home in order. Make it all make sense all around a shit show. Okay. Yes. Um, Tori, she's concerned about confidentiality when she puts all of her business on the YouTube streets. She's a liar. Tori girl, Lily, she was going, she was lying companies are not going to get on shaking my head to look for you at all. They will call the number that they have on file and they can't reach you. Go, go from there and go from there. So I, I'm not sure what Lily means by that, but maybe again, because you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. You've got people reaching out to you. They want to know what happened to this single mom with nine children who doesn't have much. People have purchased um, all of this stuff for her. They want to know what's going on. They're telling the story and people are, are following up. So the company's following up. That's what good companies do. Um, so country life says in a uh, reality checks video is um, she isn't very bright. I think this is the same. This is the second time CPS came came this time. The neighbors called on her and then whoever. She said that it was brought up when she left the twins in the car in the park and acted like it was awful. Someone took issue with it. So Jasmine posted today a video. Basically, um, you know, she talked about two different things at the same time. So if you're new to her channel, the two things could have gotten like conflated with each other, which is like two things kind of got melded into one. Um, but basically, yes, this was the second time CPS was called the first time, which was almost a year ago. It was neighbors who called this time. She's blaming it on YouTube. Now, who was it? Was it the gossip chat chatty website? Was it a reactor? Was it subscribers? Who knows? All I can tell you, it wasn't me. I barely have time to do what I need to do around here. And I am not interested in calling and trying to get Jasmine in trouble. I think that she has clearly said she was getting her own help. She's in therapy. You know, I'm just watching the videos at the end of the day. So that's, that's really it for me. Um, Ocean Blue, congrats on your 60 pound weight loss. Go girl, put the haters in their place. Okay, well, thank you. And yes, yes, yes. This is in response to bitter, broke, backwoods, and busted. 
Hashtag clout chasers, love lies, and lace fronts. So yes, this was a live that I did and speaking to some of my biggest fans because how it turns out is that one of the twosome um, did kind of almost like a love letter explanation reaction video to me. And basically, um, you know, she said, you know, Fran, I, I really don't have a problem with you. You know, again, this is this is entertainment. Um, and also, I really have respect for you as a reactor. And, you know, this is all about clout. So, hey, you know, whatevs. And that's all I have to say on that. I mean, we will not be going on vacation. We are not doing no kind of mommy Anna, Anna thing. Um, there are no alliances here. And at the end of the day, um, I'm on these YouTube streets. I'm doing my own thing. And from where I'm sitting right now, I don't even see those people. Um, but every now and again, um, you know, I, I come out and I um, address what needs to be addressed, right? So here we go. Nadia, thank you for commenting. Woo, it's all about who said, she said, and when it was said. Enjoyable content gone out the window. Yeah. So Nadia, so true. So true. Um, Don Martin, we all know Chrissy has always been able to find a way to convince her subscribers she's done nothing wrong and to play the victim and everyone is out to get her. She will never own up to being a liar or take responsibility or take responsibility, have done, have done clear signs of a narcissistic bless her heart. And um, Deborah finished up her comment, but I am glad those children have their things because it's hard to start over there, to start over. There was a pod after all, I think she was scheming to get cash apps and visa cards from her subscribers. That's why she said that they lost everything because it would break people's hearts. Yeah. There's a lot of very kind people out here and there's a lot of people who really care about Chrissy. And it's unfortunate that I think that gets taken a little bit advantage of. I mean, I'm not saying that she does completely, but it's, you know, look, that's all I'm saying at this, you know, alleged, right? Everything is alleged right now. Um, good morning. That tweet was not doctored. It happened to be on Twitter that day and click. And I happened to be on Twitter that day and clicked on the tweet. I want nothing but the best for strong mommy Chrissy and all of the mommies out here and have donated anonymously to them. But the unnecessary lies is why I am losing some interest in watching. Be honest. You owe it to your audience. Your words carry weight and consequences. Be blessed and do better. Signed, an old lady who loves you all. Oh, thank you, um, young granny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very sweet. Um, I certainly don't take the kindness of my audience for a weakness. I mean, the kindness of my audience is a strength, and I appreciate all of you out there because you guys show me so much love and I appreciate it. Um, Bernice, damn, y'all give Chrissy such a hard time. Why is the pod such a big deal? Okay. Well, Bernice, ask her, ask yourself why you clicked on this video. I'm not giving her a hard time. My videos spark interest and fuel the algorithm. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Um, Ruby Shabazz says, I agree. I see lots of videos this morning regarding the pod, but I feel sorry for her sometimes due to the constant judgment, but that's just my opinion. Now, Ruby, I get it. And I think that your opinion is valid, but the thing is, is that who would know about this pod if Chrissy hadn't done like five videos on it? So you've got reactors. Um, again, if you go back to my earlier comment, you didn't have to say anything at all. Um, you didn't have to even introduce a pod, nothing. Okay. So this is, this is all Chrissy's doing and Chrissy's undoing. Okay. Um, dear to be, can we see her white bedroom set? Because according to LSA, someone said it was from rent to own. 
I guess we will see. Okay. Well, I didn't know that and I hadn't seen anything on that. So thank you for bringing that over here. And the streets um, are watching and it has been noted by this reactor and we will be, um, we will be watching. So thank you, dear to be um, Miss Brown. Um, and when, and when, since Chrissy shout out Jasmine, seriously, and when, since, okay. So basically when has Chrissy been shouting out Jasmine? Um, that girl can barely keep her head on yet alone vlog every day. LOL. I'm just here for the train wreck. Okay. Miss Brown. Yes. And we're here for the content us reactors. So, um, if they're vlogging every day, <laughs> you better rest assured. I will be too. I think she just didn't have money to have the pod delivered and wasn't going to get it. So I think that you are right. Miss Brown. I think she had to get her money up to probably pay those fines or whatever she owed that landlord to get her stuff out of storage and then pay for it to be shipped. Everybody kept asking questions about the pod. She's just broke down and paid. She just finally broke down and paid for it to have it shipped. She knew she didn't pay for the delivery in the pod. So I think it's possible that, you know, if they did keep her stuff in storage contractually to whatever the city of Las Vegas or whatever, um, the county that she lives in, I'm wondering if for however long they keep it, you have to pay for it. So girl, she probably was racking up a tremendous bill. And if she didn't pay for it at some point, it, it would have been a lot of money. Um, so, Hey, Anna, Anna is a, con a, um, a content creator guys. If you don't know Anna's channel, go ahead and check her out. Anna's antics. I'm wondering where all of this content she said she had, she had is because these videos she's posting have been the same looks she's wearing in IG lives in, in two time. Well, okay. So, all right, let me read with this again, guys. Sometimes I feel like I can't read. I'm wondering where all of the content she said she had is because these videos she's posting have been the same looks she's wearing in IG lives in two time. Um, Anna, right. Because she just, she is just now filming. She was busy with homie and now she has her stuff for her office. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, she said she was filming, but she needed to edit. Now she's filming. I guess we'll see. She also said she couldn't film because she didn't have her office. We don't know what it is. Maybe you weren't filming. Maybe you were just telling us that to hold us off because you were going live so much. I, I girl, I don't know. And honestly, I can't really care. Um, guys, we're going to stop it right here at Marissa star. Um, we're going to go ahead, get Marissa's comment. And then we're going to have to do again, hopefully we can get another one done. Um, but Marissa said it's nobody's business proceeds to post a whole account of the lost pods container on a public platform. I'm sure there is no law to protect pods renters confidentiality. I mean, maybe there is some confidentiality, but a company is not going to let you get them all over the internet and have all of their people calling and calling and calling and checking on this single mom. And you're creating lies and drama for their customer service people to have to you know, sift through and manage. So I said, right, billion dollar companies getting a barrage of questions regarding the belongings of a single mother. Mad. I wonder how they or she felt when they responded. Mm, Ma'am, that was delivered weeks ago. So repping BK New York, Marissa, you know, her dummies were soaking it up. I don't believe anything she says and who gives her, who gives their YouTube name on that type of document. How were people able to call and get information without her account number, receipt number, tracking and, and starting address, a delivery? Well, okay, so let me stop right there, repping for BK. Look, we all know Chrissy's name. It's Christina something, something, right? We know where she, she lived in Las Vegas. That's where it started. And the uh, leased property address was leaked on a certain chatty gossipy website and also on a couple of other videos here um, on YouTube. So they would have had that. And also they can say, this is someone who I follow. Her name is Strong Mommy Chrissy. She's a mom of this, that, and the third. And we're concerned. Um, this is horrible. This is bad PR, blah, blah, blah. All of those things. So 
possibly they had enough information to go on. And it is possible. It is possible that people did get some information. I see that happening potentially. Um, and then repping for BK New York said to me, happy Monday. So it's so I'm still trying to understand the purpose of the whole pod story. Well, M O N E Y that's, that's the purpose of it. That's at the end of the day, that's the purpose of it. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to be straight up and honest with you. That's the purpose. It's content. She doesn't want to talk about her personal life. Obviously she has stuff going on. She's not going to really go in depth about her kids. She's learned her lesson on that. You are not a family channel. You are a mommy kind of ratchet channel. So she's learned her lesson and she's sticking with the pods because it doesn't get too deep into her personal life. And she didn't expect that pods would be contacted about her personal business. That's why she's using it because it's content and it's something that people are interested in, which is her business, right? So why are they interested? Money. Um, she would have been talked about it being in transit or missing months ago. Instead, she agitated so instead, it agitated her when she was questioned about it. Now, five months later, it suddenly appears. No explanation from the pods. Instead, she wants to tell us about a fake Twitter response and what company responds to inquiries over Twitter and not the website. Well, look, companies do respond on Twitter. How in-depth they do, I, I don't know. And I didn't even bother to go look. If somebody's got it and you want to send it to me, send it to me. I'd love to take a look at it and we can talk about it further. Was Pods irresponsible by giving her business? Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know. And, you know, Chrissy creates this crap on her own. Chrissy was probably happy because this was content and she didn't have to talk about her personal life. That's what I'm thinking. Um, we're going to do two more on the same page. Monique Brown, I hope CPS saw the video of her. Uh, we all need to be very careful and um, use things according to the manufacturer, the to the uh, drug company specifications. If it's not for a child, don't use it. Um, Anything can happen, we know. So we want to be very careful on what we give our children. But gosh, guys, that's a real comment. The streets are talking. Um, you guys read it for yourself. I um, so yes, the melatonin or Bennett, you know, I don't know what she was giving if whatever it was, whatever it wasn't, guys. Um, look, this is this is real life here. Um, some of this stuff is put on, some of this stuff is entertainment, but at the end of the day, this is a real mommy. These are real children. Um, I want to be responsible here and I don't want to say things that are inflammatory, but again, this is addressing the comments. The streets are talking. You guys take it for what it is. And at the end of the day, um, I think Jasmine knows that she needs to be careful with the, with these lives that God has entrusted her with. And if she didn't know, and that CPS visit was real, I think she knows now, um, Miami vibes, but wait, didn't one of Jazzy's daughters say that they were going to be helping Chrissy move? We know her kids are going to tell the truth because Kaylin just told on her own mother, um, was that pod empty or was it something or was there something actually in it? I believe what, what, look, that's a great point. Miami vibes. What if they did move and what if Chrissy is in a new place? I mean, Chrissy was really out there about showing the front of that house. She knows that address has been leaked. I mean, we don't know if that is the house that she was in or is in. Yes. She just posted a mukbang, was that mukbang film two weeks ago? Like she said, she could be in a completely new place. She could be, she could have moved. She could be living with the guy in the, I mean, girl, I could go on and on and on and on, but that is a great point. That's a great new twist on things. We need to be watching, looking and seeing. Um, and we're going to stop right here on my, on, um, on mommy vibes and we will pick back up with Della Jackson. Della, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you for always contributing. Um, and we will get to your comment in the next video. Guys, I tried to go through this as fast as I can. I hope I wasn't talking too fast. There will be some rough cut edits in here. But again, guys, thank you so much for being so active in these comments. You guys are awesome. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have these addressing the comments videos. So go ahead comment down below. 
Let me know what your thoughts are. And I promise that we will go through some more comments in another video dropping hopefully tomorrow. Um, take care, guys. Have a good afternoon and I will see you later. Bye. By the way, friend, I respect you as a, um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a, um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a, um, as a reactor. This is all about clout. <laughs> <laughs>